So, Fortnite Chapter Five. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's great. It's great. Honestly, it's great. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, it is Mothical here, back again with another video. Today we are going to be talking about Fortnite Chapter Five, and I'm just letting you guys know I have a lot to say about Fortnite. Um, a little to say about the community. That's going to be for another video, uh, sometime soon. I, I don't know when. Um, that'll, I'm gonna try and just be more well composed for that because if I had made that video yesterday, it would have been an angry rant. I'm just letting you know, um, justifiably so, but it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on that one just for a little bit to collect my own thoughts on that whole situation. Uh, it's more drama related, not necessarily gameplay related because that's what we're here for. And my God, did Epic Games do such a good job, uh, for reference on as to why I'm here praising this chapter last season fortnite og i only played builds because i knew zero build was not going to be fun especially with the map especially with the weapons especially just with everything going on in the game i just knew that zero build was going to be awful to play lo and behold we get into chapter five and i'm like okay i need to play zero build just to see if it's good if it's not good if it isn't good i'm gonna be sad and holy shit i have not touched builds once this season and i do not intend to touch builds at all at least for a while because by golly does fortnite feel like it's taking the next step towards becoming a movement shooter i'm, I'm just being real with you here it really does feel genuinely good i want to get this out of the way the new movement it's a little weird at the start i understand as a fortnite like player i, I like i'm a veteran of this game i've been playing for uh almost its entire lifespan uh, specifically br uh started in chapter one season two i am perfectly fine with the movement i think that it is fine it doesn't really even feel much different once you get used to it yes the normal walking speed is a little slower not by much just a little the animations in my opinion are great i think that they did a very good job at creating new movement i will admit i do wish it was the same speed that it was before because while i do think the movement feels good it does need a little bit of an extra oomph in order to make it like you know just feel better in general i feel like there would be less of an outcry if the movement speed was at that same speed but even then it's only 0.8 seconds slower so it's not that much of a difference that in in general everything just feels a lot snappier at least to me i think that this new movement is great i i think it is welcome and i love it personally i i, I just i don't know i i think it's great it's it's awesome uh just i just had to take a day or two just to get used to it because it's definitely different from what we're used to like i can tell with the animations and all that i feel like it feels more fluid personally that might just be me though i know that a lot of people are having trouble getting used to it some people have straight up quit the game because of it i don't understand that i mean i guess if you really just don't like adapting to changes like this i mean yeah obviously you know this game isn't for you like uh, let more power to you for just quitting the game and not making a fuss about it we'll get to that but in general i do just I, I like the new movement so yeah new movement let's talk about the map because i feel like the map i, I always like talking about new chapters and their new maps and all that it, it's a big deal going into chapter five with the leaked map which i refuse to post anywhere but i will show on screen right now it looked very plain i was very worried about this i was like oh this looks just like some chapter two knockoff uh, i i am not a fan of how this looks but lo and behold i jumped in game and this might be one of my new favorite maps ever that we've ever gotten right next to chapter three this is amazing there's a ton of snow on the map the the everything is just pretty the pois are interesting and unique they don't feel like they're copy and pasted chapter four and chapter one in general i ah, uh, i just i love this map it's so much fun to play on the train is amazing it's an amazing new addition and everything just feels great it doesn't feel like it was just put together overnight it feels like they took their time to develop this map possibly around the time that chapter four came out it feels like they've been working on this for a very long time and i feel like it's paid off this map is amazing playing on it is phenomenal 
and personally my favorite poi right now is probably fencing fields i like the ar that you can get there it's a great little place but every poi on this map is genuinely awesome and i i have no issues with any of them i i think they're all phenomenal uh some standouts are probably snooty steps with peter griffin which is hilarious uh, by the way you should uh you should kill peter griffin you know something funny happens go, go do that but um yeah studio steps i feel like pleasant piazza is another standout uh we have uh what is it ruined reels ruined reels is R risky it's back it's back finally we have a good map and it has risky on it lo and behold risky is the uh the, the, the star child of Fortnite. If there's a map and it has risky reels on it, it's probably good. So yeah, let's let's go. Um, we have Reckless Railways as a standout. I really like that. Uh, Grand Glacier and just everything else is just great. I obviously can't think of the names off the top of my head. This map is new, but the fact that I can even name like just a few and I've only been playing on this map for a couple of days. I feel like that says a lot more than chapter four, which I can barely remember any of the POIs from that map. That map was shit. I'm sorry. I did not like chapter four at all. I feel like it was just in general really bad. But um, yeah, we have a good chapter. Uh, next up on the list, the weapons. So the weapons work differently this chapter. And I feel like that could be instantly noticeable the moment you drop in game and you grab one. Every weapon has bullet travel now. And some people see this as a negative. Some people aren't able to get used to it. Some people don't like bullet travel. Here's my experience. Bullet travel, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. I think it feels good. I think they did a good job making bullet travel feel genuinely all right. And there are like just hit skin versions of all the new weapons in the game right now as well. I do prefer the bullet travel. I feel like it just makes gameplay more skillful. Like it just requires you to just be better at the game, which I like. I, I like it when the game is like that. So I'm a fan of this. I feel like the only guns in game that don't have any bullet travel are the shotguns. It makes sense on as to why they don't have bullet travel though. I feel like that's just the normal thing that shotguns are just gonna be hit skin regardless. Everything feels great. The Striker AR, genuinely the best AR in the game right now. I, I love it. Uh, both shotguns, surprisingly, feel good. Now, they did technically reinvent the wheel again. It's okay this time, and I'm going to explain that in a little bit here. Uh, the pump feels good, and the auto shotgun feels good, which is very rare. It's usually one or the other feels good, and like it's like one is good, one is bad. I, that, that's a good way of putting it. One is good, one is bad. Um, Honestly, the Nemesis AR, I'm not too crazy about it, but it is not bad. It's slower and it does more damage, so if you can hit your shots with this thing, you can probably fry people. The SMGs feel great as well. We have the Hyper SMG uh, with shreds, and then we have the Burst SMG, which also shreds. And the Burst SMG does feel genuinely good. They tried a scoped Burst SMG back in Chapter 4. It didn't really work out for me. I, it was kind of bad so this feels genuinely better again i'll get to the whole scope thing in a moment um but yeah this feels pretty good and then we have the new sniper rifle which is arguably my favorite new weapon in the loot pool i love this thing the the, the new sniper oh the sound it makes when you fire it just so good it, oh it makes me want to just jump back in game and play right now pick it up and just play the only gun i haven't used too much of is the new pistol I know that it's okay though. The new pistol is definitely an all right weapon to pick up. It works just like every other pistol. It's nothing too special, but it is in fact good. So we're, we're all fine here. All the weapons this chapter are good. Like they are all genuinely speaking good. Uh, we also have a grapple blade, which feels amazing. I love using this thing. I love the grapple blade. It is so much fun. Yes, it is more so of a repositioning tool, at least in my opinion, than a mobility one, but you can still use it as one regardless. Even still, the fucking positioning that you can get with this thing is amazing it doesn't feel like a requirement to have either and it doesn't do too too much damage meaning that if someone's attacking you with this thing and they're just like coming at you you know you, they're moving in a straight line you can bop them in the head you can damage them and then like, they get fucked now the last thing on the list is the one caveat of this season that i'm not too big a fan of it is the riot shield and in zero build especially it it's really annoying because it takes a lot of bullets for this thing to go down basically meaning if you don't have a riot shield and your enemy does 
get the fuck out of there because you are not gonna be like if you're close range with that thing you're probably fucked your best situation at least to me is to have something like shockwaves or a grapple blade so you can just get away from them because all they have with a riot shield is a pistol and it's not the most accurate thing in the world but like i said at close range that thing will shred you you could also try just bouncing around them but as i've said players are insane they will turn around at the speed of light while holding this thing my solution to this issue is just to make it so that the right shield i, I don't want to say breaks but like it staggers after less than a mag because ho just holding that thing there is really annoying and you can already bash people off of mountains with it so it's already at least in my opinion a little bit of an issue but it's way less of an issue than i don't know the fucking grenade launcher from last season seriously what was epic thinking making it like that like just genuinely it was so annoying it was for it was, oh, it was for baby players i'm just i'm just being real here it was for it was for baby players so we do have a really good battle pass too i don't typically cover skins here on the channel because i mean i just feel like covering the gameplay is something i'm more interested in because fortnite's gameplay it, to me is so much fun especially with all the items and stuff but this we do have a really good battle pass my favorite skin in the past probably hope She's the tier one skin. She's really cute. I love her. After that, probably Underground Jones and then Valeria. She, she's cool. And then Salt Snake after that. Salt Snake being in the game is amazing. And then, of course, we have Peter Griffin in the past. Uh, unexpected, but, you know, whatever. He's he's fun. I like him. And he's buff and stuff. So, I, I don't know. And uh, the Surfing Bird emo. Hilarious. Hilarious. And there's a ton of references with that. So, I'm cool with it. You know, we finally got Peter Griffin. It was expected for such a long time and we finally got it that's all i really have to say about the gameplay in general there is only one other caveat to this and that's that i might have to make this video like three more times why might i have to make this video over three more times well i don't necessarily mean like me talking about battle royale three more times but me talking about the gameplay because yes we are getting basically three whole games in Fortnite over the next few days. We're going to be getting Lego Fortnite. We're going to be getting Rocket Racing, which I'm the most excited for. I love racing games, so it's going to be so much fun. And then we're going to be getting Fortnite Festival. Three whole games in Fortnite. Like, the, these are disconnected from Chapter 5. These are disconnected from BR. Some of them don't even have Fortnite in the name, like Rocket Racing. Three whole games in this one game that's insane that's fucking mental to me lego fortnite is dropping i believe on friday or thursday I, i'm not too sure it's either friday or thursday uh rocket racing will be dropping the day after and then finally fortnite festival the other the latter two i'm really excited for lego fortnite i've been trying to convince myself that it's gonna be fun i'm just not that big on like minecraft style like runescape style games at all so um, i'm really iffy about it but i might give it a try with some friends if i can get a group of them on at the very least i don't see myself playing it all too often because like people are saying that it's like minecraft i'm just gonna be dead straight with you guys anytime i play minecraft i get bored after like a half an hour and i'm just not a fan of the game at all i think it's really boring so if this is basically just lego minecraft i'm not too keen on it personally i, I don't think it's gonna be very uh, my thing but we'll just have to wait and see so if i do end up playing it there will likely be a video on it but I'm just letting you guys know that my bread and butter is still Fortnite Battle Royale in specific. So there will be mostly BR videos here on the channel. Do not be surprised if I end up making Rocket Racing videos though. Because Rocket Racing looks amazing and I just know that I'm going to like it. I, again, I love racing games. And just everything that I've been see seeing about it just makes me so hyped up for it, man. I'm so excited for Rocket Racing. And I'm going to grind it. I'm honestly going to grind it. When I'm done with this battle pass, I'm going to grind the shit out of Rocket Racing. And it's going to be in Season 0. So yes, all two of these modes have their own like seasons. Lego Fortnite is just kind of like its own thing. It's, it's like 
Lego Fortnite. But Rocket Racing and Fortnite Festival have their own seasons, meaning that if I like those two modes more than LEGO Fortnite, and I find it worthy enough to cover them, I'm gonna cover them. I'm gonna talk about everything new that we're getting in each season of these things, and it's gonna be really exciting. I don't know if the seasons are gonna have the same length as, like, you know, Battle Royale seasons. I would prefer for them to kind of just be on their own schedule, but we'll just have to see about that because I don't want to get overwhelmed. I would rather things drop at different times so that way I can plan out videos schedules a little bit differently if they all happen at the same time though i mean i can still plan it out it'll just come later on down the line because again battle royale is my priority here on the channel i have always prioritized br over everything so I'm, I'm very excited for those two modes in specific if you on the lego mode but i i i'm not opposed to it i am not opposed to it anymore i'm just being real with you guys I don't think I'm gonna like it. I don't think it's gonna be my thing. I would love to be proven wrong, but I really don't think it's gonna be my thing. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. I hope that you guys are enjoying chapter five as much as I am. Genuinely, this might be one of the best Fortnite chapters we've ever gotten. Season one has been amazing so far, and it's only going to get better with Lego Fortnite, Rocket Racing, Fortnite Festival, all the stuff I just talked about. It's gonna be great. Um, so let me know what are you most excited for this season personally i'm the most excited for rocket racing that's just me oh and the teenage mutant ninja trolls collab but uh we will talk about that when that comes because i have a lot to say about that when that actually comes out i know it's going to come out next week i am so excited for that i love the ninja turtles but we just have to wait and see um for when that happens that's all for today's video uh love you guys make sure to like and subscribe if you're new um or don't do that if you don't want to no pressure obviously i mean it is free to unsubscribe but you know i'm not i'm not your i'm not your mom so whatever uh that's it for me uh yeah later